gentlemen, welcome to another Daily Rift, hosted by your host, Clint Leetwood. How are all of you? It is the um, 9th of April. What a good day. Right? Saturday? It's always good, you know, because Saturday is an awesome day. It's the peak of the weekend. It's the best day of the week, in my opinion, or next to Friday. Because we all know you gotta get yeah, you gotta get down on Friday, right? All right. Okay. Um, well, I have a really fun replay here for you guys. Um, these are actually a few of my friends. Um, I do know Crow and uh, Michaela Gorilla. They are um, some very solid players, and they actually won a recent tournament um, that I hosted. Um, well, their team, not them. But um, you know, let's just get into it. Let's have a little fun. Get a little casting out of the way, and I will be doing a couple more replays. So I hope you guys do stick around and keep watching. So, um, Karthus pickup. Um, I've seen Crow play Karthus quite a bit, and um, I have to say he is quite possibly the best Karthus in the world. No, not in the world, but one of the best Karthus. Um, Karthuses, Karthai. That's a weird word. <laughs> It's like the uh, weird plural. It's like the singular for sheep should be shoop. So the uh, sing uh, the plural for Carthus should be uh, Carthi, Carthuses. Anyways, um, Carthus, Tarek, Amumu, uh, Aurelia, and looking at Kenan, lots of solid stuns. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of support there and overall cover for these two guys to really dish out a lot of damage. And, you know, he, he Kenan can do quite a bit of damage, too. Um, but, you know, the later game, if he if he's going to build a little tanky, he's not going to do much. Um, he's going to really just lay down stuns alongside of Mumu and Tarek. But, you know, there's a lot of AoE here, um, especially with Karthus and Mumu and Kenan. So, you know, I think this is actually a really solid um, team setup. And, in fact... Um, Let's look at the other team. Jarvan, Warbreak, Rise, Poppy, Twisted Fate. I don't know. I would actually say it would really be positional. I mean, that's not to say that um, every team fight is positional, but um, I'm going to say that um, it really just come down to who initiates better. Um, and I would actually give the initiation potential out equal here. Um, if you think about it, you have uh, Warwick and Jarvan who make a great com uh, combination together. And... Uh, you know, uh, Poppy, Twisted Fate, um, you know, you can win that f uh, team fight and go push a tower in pretty quickly as Twisted Fate. But, uh, you know, I, I, f I would honestly say that these teams are just about even, and that um, they're, they're played differently, but they're, they can, they both have a lot of strong early game potential, late game potential, all around scaling. Um, I'm with jungling, for blue team, um, quite a common jungler, and a Warwick jungling for um, team purple, another um, common jungler. Um, nothing really to note there, but uh, the other team is Nintendo to X on Twisted Fate. Um, oh wow! And once again, uh, I, I did say that Crow is one of the best Karthus I've ever seen, and um, I don't know if you saw that, but Rise literally got away with about 10 health there. Literally got away with a 10 health. Um, he just has a solid way of harassing, and I'm not sure if it's just landing cues or knowing when to activate that E and ignite combo. But he is just so good. He is just so good. Um, open lane here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. And, uh, you know, Warwick probably could come down here and soak up a little XP, then go to race. But uh, you know, it's a little bit of me being nitpicky. So, uh, I wouldn't say it's too much. Yeah, look at um, Replay is bugging, uh, as it always does. And you can see how much health he did have left over from that engagement uh, when Crow tried to um, be aggressive in the lane and, you know, left, Car uh, not Karthus, Rise with only 50 health. That's a... That is significant. It's quite a big health drop. A little bit of uh, harassment war on top. Warwick is going to look to gank, but, you know, some brilliant clairvoyance is all around 
from this Tarek uh, is going to stop that uh, potential gank, I would think. But, uh, you know, we also have a roaming Tarek giving that Kenan some solo experience, which is also good. So we'll see how this um, gank can be either counter ganked or, uh, you know, maybe he could. We'll see a ginormous noob come in and throw down a gank. Um. Um, what's your guys' opinion on Jarvan? I'm not entirely sure what to think of him. Um, I like him, and then I don't. I would actually like to see a lot of people pick up more uh, flash on him. But um, we might even see a gank here, as the gold card is going to come out, and Warwick is going to come and apply some uh, a little bit of a CC, that, uh, a little bit some soft CC because of the uh, red buff. And I cannot talk right now, and it must be fun listening to me when I can't talk. Right, All right. And another um, gank is going to come down in mid. Oh, that wall is so good. And look at this. Um, a quick little gank um, comes out in mid, grabbing first blood. Solid pickup. Um, that is going to really set Crow in a certain pace of this game. As as, as if he hasn't already said it already. Um, due to the uh, you know near-death experience Ryze had earlier. <coughs> but that wall... I think a lot of people neglect how much... Oh, and I'm so sorry I missed that, but a quick dive from Jarvan and Poppy, but uh, Jarvan... Uh, not Jarvan. Tarek is going to pick up that kill. I'm um, going to throw the stun out. Um, so that that little bit of farm for him is going to really help him out if he decides to do a dedicated roaming role here in the game. But gonna go back to... Um, can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, Karthus' wall. Karth... Yeah, Karthus' wall. Um, not many people realize this, but, um, that wall is totally underrated. It reduces resistances. Like, it makes ganks. and makes or breaks them, honestly. It makes or breaks them. It's that good. Um, so, that's all I really have to say on that. Um, you know, not a lot of, not a whole lot of action going on. Um, just a, a two to one lead here in favor of Team Blue. So, we'll see how this game continues to go. Um, a gank coming down in mid. Uh, Crow might be in a little bit of trouble, but he is going to try and pick up Rise, and he does pick up Rise. Um, he does not get the experience. I do not think so because of the uh, of him dying first. However, um, the passes, some of those passives are a little bit wonky, and they can uh, um, get, still get you the experience. But it looks like uh, Kennan is trying to pick up a kill, and wow, he just auto attacks him down to death. Um, we are looking at <laughs> Zerker Greaves, Doran's Blade, uh, Kennen, and that's a very interesting um, choice. A little bit of action on top, but I'm going to focus on bottom here, because um, uh, Aureli is going to walk out of there just fine. Um, and Deathmonger is going to take a lot of damage, but Crow is going to try and pick up the kill on um, Poppy, and you can see there was a lot of team coordination there, just lowering Poppy enough so Crow can pick up that kill. Um, this is what really makes or breaks Karthus is in these games, is that if you can let your team, uh, if you just have a good team that knows what they're doing and can uh, feed you, and wow, a huge, huge blow here at 7 minutes, giving a huge leave of 5 to 2, 6 to 2, I am so sorry, <laughs> 6 to 2, um, with one tower down, and the possibility of dragon coming down, so, uh, quite a big lead coming out. I'm not entirely sure how um, Purple Team might pull out of this. It might be a very grueling long road to um, recovery. But a uh, dragon does go down. Um, and this Warwick is a little bit out of position. No, I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I am very... Okay, I am so sorry about that, I'm back. Um, all that I really missed though right there, but I did keep the camera on it, was a kill on Warwick. Um, Crow is going to pick up blue buff, and that's just a huge blow um, to that Warwick once again. He is complaining of lag, um, not entirely sure if that is true or not, um, but teach, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll 
giving the benefit of the doubt. Um, a little bit of a miscue there. Another uh, solid land right there. Um, did miss another one though. I'm um, going to hit another Q. That rise is going to take so much damage. Um, Nintendo Do X does come down from top though to see if he can save rise, and he does. <laughs> Excuse me. Once again, I am back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have family members coming in to say hello to me. Um, we might see a little bit, well, actually a lot of bit of damage coming down on Nintendo Dex, and whoa! I do not know if the, uh, if the uh, replay was uh, bugging there, as it normally does, but that was a lot of burst damage if uh, Nintendo Dex was at that health. Um, lots of damage is going to come down on Rise. I'm not entirely sure if he can survive this, and Moomoo is going to come in and probably just try and clean up. Now, Crow is going to take the kill. Um, just going to put him even further ahead. As the score is 10 to 2 with a DC on the other team. Um, you know. Uh, Crow is so far ahead in this game already. He is running a tier of the goddess, probably heavily stacked. Yeah, about 1200 mana. Um, so you're probably looking at about, you know, 500 mana possibly stacked on this. Um, Warwick does come back, probably um, to clear out his lag problems. Um, but Top might also go down here soon. Warwick is saying, no, it is not better. Um, it's really disappointing. But, uh, you know, Philosopher's Stone on uh, Taric and a Fairy Charm. I'm um, not entirely sure where that Fairy Charm might go into. Could go into Soul Shroud. Um, a little uh, Harassment War once again from Nintendo to X and Aurelia. But we might even see a dive here. Oh, wow, lots of burst damage coming down on Nintendo to X. <laughs> Oh, and Poppy a little bit out of position here. Um, Nintendo Dex realizes that he's in trouble and needs to back up, like, right now. Yeah, right now. Um, I would not even want to stay next to that tower. Um, there's just so much damage between these three heroes, so much burst, um, and it's just so much sustained, even, um, due to Aurelia and Karthus. Oh, but here we go. We might even see a quick turnaround as the amount of CC over here is just so good. Once again, that Warwick and Jarvan combo is really, really good. And picking up a double kill, that actually might really put them into the game again. Um, with no kills being picked up on a Karthus, and we might even see a ginormous noob go down, um, which would be even a bigger blow. Um, but yeah, actually, he's going to pop this ghost and get away. Um, Amumu is pretty much <laughs> pushing in mid, right? Uh, not mid, bottom here. And that is uh, really good. You know, if you can't win that team fight, you might as well just push it. Uh, push in a tower or two. And I would actually argue that this Amumu is in a little bit of trouble. And this Jarvan is going to be stunned forever. And he is going to knock that cannon up and mess with him. Um, Deathmonger does have to blow his ult to, um, you know, keep himself alive. But he does miss the stun. I'm not entirely sure what he was going to do with that stun. I would actually have saved my ult, or if, if I could have, and, you know, maybe bandage toss to this Jarvan over here as he was stunned. But uh, a kill does come down on top, as um, a killer gorilla does pick up a solid kill on Ryze, and I'm sorry for missing that. I'm a little bit out of uh, sync. No, not, not my best caster mood, I guess. Oh, but a good stun. Oh, but a little bit of an overstep here, as he is not necessarily aware of how much damage um, a tower can do, I guess, to an Amumu, but Crow does turn it around and get a kill. Um, with an Archangel Staff. Holy crap, that is a fast Archangel Staff. At 12 minutes? Yeah, no, bye Nintendo Dex. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. Bye, bye, just bye. <laughs> this is like a game of all random all mid. Uh, you know, Crow just wanted to die so he can go back and buy. Uh, he's just so far ahead right now. It's not even funny. And look at, here's how much damage it really is doing. So much damage. Yeah. So much damage. That Sheen, um, an early on Sheen like this can do a lot, a lot of damage. Um, it's probably the best item if you can get it early in the game, I would say. Right next to Catalyst, I would say it's, it, it's probably... Um, the best early game item if you can get it within like a 12-15 minute range. 
it just increases your damage output by so much and Warwick is going to be caught out of position here he might see that they're coming in and might try and get out of there um, but we'll see if Kennen will allow him Kennen is merciful he is a merciful being um, Poppy and a little bit of convergence coming down oh and a beautiful steal from TF that was amazing I am so happy he got that even though that is a uh, uh, did that happen? <laughs> That's what I would be asking. And a little bit of a turnaround, I would say, here. But even a bigger turnaround from uh, Team Blue just doing a lot of quick burst. Oh, jeez. Ginormous Snoop is going to go down. Uh, a little bit uh, greedy on those kills. But McCrillo Gorilla and... Oh, poor Nintendo Dex. Yeah, it's going to get eaten alive there. So in exchange for uh, three to one, the score is seventeen to six. It looks like my monitor just a little bit big here, um, but in a score of seventeen to six, fifteen minutes in with uh, a couple of towers in favor of like a couple of towers, I mean a lot. And this is an absolute stomp, and this is just not good. Um, I would hope purple team can pull out of this one and uh you know make this a better more fair game but you know 19 to 6 um uh, certainly at this yellow is not easy to come from come back from especially when you are down four towers and haven't taken a single one um right is getting two tiers which is just weird to begin with you know you should just rush catalyst on them um be a sword emblem of valor um, a little bit weird from um, uh, Kennen over here. Um, Karth is doing what he knows he should be doing and grabbing stacks right now uh, from a Jai's. Oh no! Nintendo Dex, will you get out of there? Oh wow, some beautiful support from the all-around all team right here. I'm going to save Nintendo Dex's life. Um, but they might be just in a bad position overall, and McKill mm, is taking a lot of damage, but is going to back out very quickly, um, realizing that he cannot go in there without dying. So, not really sure what to remark on this game. This game is pretty uh, one-sided, and uh, we're going to be looking at a two Heart of Golds on a Mumu. Can you even explain these hearts of Heart of Gold stacking? I just don't get it. They're not behind. They're quite ahead. Why do you need a heart of gold? Or two? I can understand one, but two? Maybe th I've seen people even go three. I don't know. It's weird. Two Philo Stones. Um, Warwick is going to say, no, that is my red, and I want it. Oh, they're actually going to go right for uh, Karthus, which is the right move to do, even though he can do damage, even if he is dead. But, uh, you know, he's just is not gonna let Poppy... Yeah, no. Um, smart initiation attempt. Um, it was a good try. A for effort. Oh, but they do pick up the kill because the Nintendo Dex does have that flash ready and does hop in and try and get a kill. Um, Amu is also gonna stun and secure a kill for Crow, giving him quite a bit of stacks even though he has passed. Um, score is 22 to 7. That is so insane. Um, Aureli is about to build into a Triforce. Warwick does have Mercs and Madrid's Blood Razor. Not Madrid's Blood Razor. Madrid's Razors. That's right. Um, Nintendo X is going to try and I think go for. Um, what's it, what is it called? Rabadons. There we go. Rabadons. Yeah. Sheen Catalyst um, on Poppy. It's a. Uh, a good pickup. And Triforce is actually picked up on McKillar Gorilla, so that is, that is a pretty significant pickup at eighteen minutes alongside a Merc Tread, so you know, you should be picking that up about twenty something minutes with boots level one, but yeah, he's picking it up at eighteen minutes with boots level two, which you know is an extra eight hundred or so gold, especially with Mercs. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure how this team fight may go. They might just go straight for Karthus, but they are dying. 
so quickly, I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. And that's how you juke his poppy. And that is how you save your life a little bit longer as poppy. And this is how you die as poppy. Fifteen stacks. Huh. Still twenty-seven to eight. Okay, whatever. <coughs> And I'm sorry for the dead air, but I don't really know what to say about this, because this card is just practically f took a fourth of the guy's health and fourth of the German's health in one shot. All he has is phage and boots, while, you know, we have a 370 ability power card. This, there's nothing you can do against that, and it is... Yeah, there's just nothing they can do. Um, some decent initiation here, but, you know, more of just takes so much damage. And... Cannon picks up a kill on bottom. This is the weirdest build I've ever seen, too. Um, and that, I would actually consider GG right now. Um, I, I would honestly say that they can just push in and win the game quite easily. Right, so, um, 28 minutes into the game, we are looking at a score of 7-1 to one in favor of Team Blue with a uh, 415 ability power on Karthus. And, uh, wow, lots and lots of... Well, just a really one-sided game overall. Um, the movement's going to initiate here quite well. It's going to show how much damage this team when combined can do. Um, Rise is taking so much damage. You know what? This Karthus, man. This is not fair. Um, but here's here's to show how strong Karthus can be. Uh, and, and, you know, it's not against just a, a bad team. These guys are all really solid players. I've had the pleasure against playing uh, playing against Nintendo Dex, and um, he's good. He's very good. He beat me with AD Lux, guys. Come on, AD Lux. Um, just a well played Karthus can absolutely absolutely win a game. Um, you know, I would actually consider this guy like to be a mage carry, even though I don't really like that term. But whatever. Um, just. He can do so much damage early on so fast, and you know, he takes some time to be uh, to be built up too. I think he's kind of like Vlad in a way, where he gets to a certain level and he just gets really, really, really strong. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what uh, that war was doing, but um, all three inhibitors are going to be pushed in. And, you know, I would, I, I would say this is probably GG here. As that Ryus had about half health and lost all of it from that. And as these Nexus Towers are being pushed in, I do not think there's anything Team Purple can do. Um, they can try this futile little attempt. But Crow is a little bit out of mana here, so they might be able to pull something off here. Who knows? Crow might go down to Bobby. Can he get hurt? Uh! I get oh, 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 oh beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter as the game is pretty much over. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this, albeit being one-sided. I hope you did learn something from this Karthus play that uh, you know he can be played in these higher ranked games, and that he's a very solid champion. And I think he's actually a little bit underrated. Um, so I hope you did enjoy this rift, daily rift. Um, I'll be doing a couple more today and uploading them. Um, this is Clint Leewood 
signing out as your commentator. Hope you enjoyed the game, guys.